Hi everyone, I'm Deva. I'm an Emerald Beach Body Coach and I just wanted to make a quick video to tell you a little bit about my journey. I can honestly say that right now I am in a good place in life, but know that that wasn't always the case. You know, I've struggled with weight most of my life. You know, it was always easy as a kid to kind of drop the weight when you wanted to, but I never really had the support to develop a healthy lifestyle. And my family loves food. I'm sure as in many other cultures and families, food is a way to show love, to celebrate, and to connect with your loved ones. No one really instructed me on how it was important to get active and to work out regularly. And as an adult, it was just harder and harder to be consistent with those habits. You know, I was never consistent. I had my daughter in 2009 and I always wanted to have kids young. You know, I wanted to be able to run and play with them and have energy. And that just wasn't the case for me. I had no energy whatsoever. And with the stress of being a single parent, I wasn't taking care of myself at all. Frankly, I was neglecting myself and I was suffering from postpartum depression. And I just saw the scale go up and up and I was just getting heavier and heavier. I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism and had to start taking medication for that in 2010. So fast forward to 2013. I hit my highest weight. I was over 300 pounds. I wasn't taking pictures of myself because I wasn't comfortable with how I looked. Um, I was so in denial about my weight that I went out and bought a new scale because of course my scale had to be wrong. When I realized that it was me and not the scale, I just stopped looking at it altogether. The number was getting higher and I didn't know what else to do, so I just stopped looking. I started asking myself questions like why can't I be one of those skinny girls? There's so many, you know, normal average fit women. Why couldn't I be born with those genetics? Why couldn't I be born with a faster metabolism? And it just kind of hit me one day. If I want it, I have to work for it. There's nothing stopping me from looking however I want to look like. My family health history is full of hypertension and diabetes and heart disease. And thankfully, I don't have any of that yet. So I kind of felt like there's still time for me but I need to get a move on. <laughs> and my younger brother suffered from complete kidney failure and one day he's gonna need a transplant. And thankfully right now he's okay. But when that day comes, I don't want my weight to stop me. I don't want a surgeon to look at my health history and say that I'm too heavy to donate a kidney. I don't wanna have major surgery with that kind of weight on me. So I just start, uh, decided to get more active and to start doing what I could at home because I couldn't afford a gym membership and I lost about 15 pounds on my own but then all of a sudden I just stopped losing. One of my sorority sisters invited me to a challenge group in December of 2013 and I did okay. You know I was doing the home fitness program, I wasn't really following the nutrition and I think I lost maybe five more pounds but I was still struggling with being consistent. So now in February 2014, I started doing the 21 Day Fix when it came out, and I felt like this was something that I could stick with. It taught me all about clean eating, and in my stress and haste of being a busy mom, I realized I wasn't eating nearly enough and I wasn't eating the right kind of foods. A friend of mine passed away at the end of that month and it really got me to thinking because he was so talented and so creative and he didn't get to see a lot of his big dreams come true. And I had a breakthrough, you know, life is short. And if I have a dream, I owe it to myself to go for it. But there's a one thing I need for any dream I have and that's to be healthy and fit. And I need to get this under control. A strong, healthy body helps you implement the vision that God has for your life. 
you know, think of one thing, just one thing that you have always wanted to do. Now think, can you do that feeling tired, depressed, weak, or even sick? Of course not. So when my coach and my sorority sister asked me to be a coach, it just made sense to me. As a single parent, I was adding another stream of income to support my family, and it held me to a higher level of accountability to be consistent with my transformation. So fast forward to today, you know, I've lost 50 pounds in total. The energy I get from drinking Shakeology is like phenomenal. I've given up drinking espresso. I can keep up with my daughter who's now five, and by the way, her favorite activity is to run and have races and to dance. So, and I also no longer have to take medication for hypothyroidism. Coaching has opened up so many doors for me. I'm constantly feeding my mind with positivity and reading new books. My best friends are other coaches and they are supportive, amazing women. I'm earning an additional income But on top of that, prizes and trips. And I'm talking about trips that I would not have been able to do on my own. This opportunity has truly changed my life. So if any of this resonates with you, feel free to comment below or to email me at devafit at gmail.com. The address is in the description box. You know, I wanted to create this video because so many people feel like they have to have it all together to be a successful coach or to be a coach at all. You know, you have to eat, sleep, breathe, sweat, fitness, and clean eating 24-7, 365. And I can just tell you that's not the case. You can be on your own journey. You can be just starting on your journey. The only requirement to being a coach is that you have to have a heart for people. And you have to be willing to share your experience. The rest comes from the training you get when you join my team. Well, if you want to join my team or if you just want to get plugged in with the fitness program, I look forward to hearing from you and hopefully we can make this the best year for you possible. All right, bye.